Something's here. Hidden. Did you feel that? It's close. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. A histrionic ghost. I haven't had one of those in a while. Rebecca Hardgrave was quite the histrion. Oh, hard. Oh. Right. He killed me! Yes, yes, we saw you. We'll get right on it. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, 
and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Post the epistle of John, I believe. Chapter one. Verses eight and nine. You know your Bible. Some. Red McCraith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard, but you keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident, a terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. feel an echo ringing, like a hum. Part of the story is waiting to be revealed. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. Stop walking away from me each time we are to converse. This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. I, I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die and you'd not blink That's an eye. That's right! I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> oh. 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 Not a very nice man, turns out. Not a very nice woman, either. And yet she's the one who shows up dead. Abigail's clothes, already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. They were very much in love once. Well, that changed.
The lantern, shoot it. Something's here. Hidden. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Present yourself! Feet on the ground. Feet on the ground. There's a hand. Lantern, rifle, now! You'll have to hit harder than that. On your toes, Scotsman. We miss a few. Watch your step. 
My voice commands you! Unveil! The lantern! Shoot it! Watch your step! The lantern, shoot it! Spectral target for you. The lantern, shoot it! Ride it out. The lantern, shoot it. Spectral target for you. This isn't working. You'll get it next time. Put out that light. Lantern, rifle, now! <laughs> Aim at that lantern. <laughs> Need to take a wee punch on you. Rifle, now! Possession incoming! Shoot the light! Shoot the light! Watch your step! The lantern! Shoot it! on the ground. I have another in sight. Ride it out. Blasted pet! Oh. 
shift your balance. What do you want? It's one thing to argue with your wife. It's another to push her over the edge. Abigail was in distress. Yet all you could offer in loving kindness was to tell her to kill herself. Abigail had an accident. A terrible accident. I love my wife. I loved her. The man doth protest too much, methinks. What's the word round here? If you're looking for a good word, you can say your prayers. Or talk to the nurse. And Wings always has a good word for everyone. Even them as don't deserve it. I've met her. She does seem kind. Well, it's because she's lonely, isn't it? Maybe it's because of the scars. But she has a good heart. A rarity around here these days. That's the word around here, Banisher. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He's the Lord's burden now. What can you tell me about Cap? He's the Lord's burden now. Can you tell me anything about Helen Priest? She's a gift to this community. I thank the Lord for her, and that's all. I'm interested in Sebastian Priest. Do you know him? I did not, but I know the Lieutenant's name. We all do. He died a hero. Call comfort to Helen, no doubt. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you.
Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. His wife, Abigail, had turned her back on him in the bedroom, and not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. John's dirty dreams began before Abigail's death. Makes sense, if he was going without. We should talk to John about his lovely marriage. What do you want? You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I can help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most, but she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. I find John... The ...opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her, never questions his own behavior. He's a man who lost control and can't admit it. Of course he blames her. He's an ass. Silence and the campfire. 
Tu es souhaitant de voir ta hôte. 